Among all the animals of the savanna, few are as instantly recognizable as the zebra. We've seen it in storybooks, cartoons, and documentaries. And yet, the closer you look, the more puzzling it becomes. The question children often ask is the same one adults still wonder about. Is a zebra black with white stripes or white with black stripes? It sounds simple, almost playful, but it leads us into one of nature's greatest riddles. Because what exactly are those stripes for? At first glance, they don't look like camouflage at all. Against the golden backdrop of the savanna, their bold contrast makes zebras stand out as if they were walking road signs. In the shimmering heat, the black and white bands flash like signals, impossible to ignore. A lion crouched in the grass can spot them from far away, and to our human eyes, it seems as though the stripes betray them rather than protect them. It is almost as if nature had painted a target across their bodies. And yet, this very pattern has survived through millions of years of evolution. If the stripes were truly a weakness, zebras should have vanished long ago. Instead, they thrive, running in great herds across Africa's plains, their black and white coats rippling like waves of living contrast. Something about those stripes must give them an edge, some hidden advantage that we do not immediately see. Today, we'll try to uncover the truth behind this mystery and ask why the zebra wears such a remarkable coat. Welcome to Nature Compass, your guide through the wild. At first glance, the zebra looks simple enough, just another grazer on the savanna. But then comes the question that has echoed for generations. Is it black with white stripes or white with black stripes? It's a question that has been asked for generations, often with a smile, as if it were a riddle with a trick answer. Children ask it in classrooms, tourists ask it on safaris, and even scientists once debated it. But the truth, as it often is in nature, is more fascinating than a simple choice between black or white. Beneath the zebra's iconic coat lies the first clue. If you were to part the fur and look at the skin below, you would find that it is almost entirely black. The stripes themselves are not painted onto the skin, but created by the way pigment is produced in the hair. Where the hair follicles activate melanin, the pigment that gives color, the hairs grow black. Where those follicles stay silent, the hairs grow white. In other words, zebras are technically black animals with white stripes overlaying their dark skin. But the story doesn't stop there. Genetics reveals just how carefully orchestrated this pattern really is. Zebras don't grow white stripes on black bodies or black stripes on white bodies. Instead, their default state is black, and the white stripes appear where pigment cells are switched off during development. It's as if nature is painting with absence, carving white spaces out of a dark canvas. And what might look like a uniform pattern to us is, in fact, a deeply personal signature. No two zebras share the exact same stripe arrangement. Each animal carries its own design. Some stripes are thicker, some thinner. Some curve at odd angles or split into branches. To a trained eye, or perhaps even to the zebras themselves, these markings are as unique as fingerprints in humans. A foal can pick out its mother in a herd not just by her scent or voice, but by the map of stripes across her body. What makes it even more fascinating is that these stripes are already set before a zebra is born. In the womb, the developing foal begins entirely dark, and as it grows, certain pigment cells are switched off, creating the first white bands. By the time it takes its first breath, the stripe pattern is already there, sometimes still faint or brownish, but soon sharpening into the bold contrast we recognize. From that moment on, the pattern never changes. Unlike spots on some animals that may blur or fade with age, a zebra's stripes remain fixed for life, a permanent signature written before birth. So, the answer to the riddle is clear. Zebras are black animals with white stripes. Yet, in that simple truth lies a deeper beauty. Every zebra carries a one-of-a-kind design, a living barcode written by evolution, ensuring that even in a herd of hundreds, no two ever look the same. Zebra stripes may look like the opposite of camouflage. Against the golden grasses of the savanna, they seem to shine, bold and unmistakable, as if nature had dressed the animal to be noticed rather than to hide. So how could such a pattern possibly help them escape lions, hyenas, or leopards? 
The key lies not in how zebras look when they stand still, but in what happens when they move together. A single zebra on its own may be easy to spot, but a herd of zebras in motion is another story entirely. Their stripes merge into a dazzling blur of black and white lines, breaking up clear outlines and confusing the predator's eye. To a lion ready to pounce, the sharp edges of one animal dissolve into the chaotic motion of many. It becomes difficult to lock onto a single target, and even harder to predict which direction it will run. This effect is known as motion dazzle, and it works much like optical illusions do for us. Just as a striped pattern on a spinning wheel can trick the human eye, a herd of zebras in motion can scramble a predator's focus. When dozens of black and white bodies move together, their stripes blur into a shifting wave of light and dark. Lions and hyenas, which rely on sharp vision to lock onto a single target, suddenly face a confusing visual puzzle. It's a bit like when we stare at hypnotic black and white spirals or fast moving striped patterns on a screen. The longer we look, the harder it is to tell what's moving where. The brain struggles to track edges, speed, and direction all at once. For predators, that fraction of a second lost in hesitation can make the difference between a successful hunt and failure. Even scientists studying zebras have recreated this illusion in experiments. When patterns similar to zebra stripes are placed on rotating objects or moving animations, human test subjects also find it harder to judge their speed or trajectory. And stripes don't just confuse predators during a hunt. In the shimmering heat of the African plains, the alternating black and white bands also distort outlines at a distance. To a predator scanning the horizon, a group of zebras may seem less like individual animals and more like a shifting mirage. So while zebras may not vanish into their environment the way a leopard melts into the undergrowth, their stripes are a different kind of camouflage, one built on confusion. They survive not by disappearing, but by dazzling turning the predator's hunt into a moment of hesitation, where even the smallest pause can mean escape. And predators are not the only challenge zebras face. Their stripes also hold secrets in battles against far smaller, but equally dangerous enemies. Not every threat comes with claws and teeth. Some of the most dangerous enemies zebras face are tiny, winged, and relentless. Horseflies are constant tormentors on the African plains. These insects don't just bite, they can spread dangerous diseases that weaken or even kill large animals. For a zebra, living in open grasslands where biting insects are relentless, protection against them is as important as protection against lions. Their bites are painful and they carry parasites that can spread deadly diseases such as trypanosomiasis. For animals that spend hours grazing under the hot sun, the constant attack of these insects can drain energy, spread infection, and even affect survival. A coat that can discourage flies is as valuable as sharp teeth or fast legs. This is where the stripes show their hidden power. Studies have revealed that biting flies are far less likely to land on striped surfaces than on solid colors. The alternating bands of black and white seem to confuse their compound eyes, which are finely tuned to detect movement and broad patches of color. When a zebra moves, the stripes create a shimmering optical effect that makes it difficult for the fly to judge where to land. To the insect, the zebra's coat becomes a flickering mirage. Scientists have tested this idea in creative ways. In one experiment, researchers dressed horses in zebra-patterned coats. The result was striking. The patterned horses were bitten significantly less often than those wearing plain coverings. Other trials used artificial models painted in different patterns. With the same outcome, flies avoided the stripes. Even people living in regions plagued by biting flies have noticed the effect, sometimes painting stripes onto their livestock to reduce the constant irritation. For zebras, this adaptation may be life-saving. Unlike other African grazers, they cannot simply rely on thick hides or tails to keep insects at bay. Instead, evolution has given them a visual shield a pattern that disrupts the very way their attackers see the world. It's not perfect, zebras still get bitten, but the reduction in fly attacks can make the difference between carrying a disease or staying healthy. And perhaps this explains why zebras, and not antelopes or wildebeests, wear such striking coats. Predators like lions are dangerous, but they hunt only occasionally. Flies, on the other hand, attack every single day, and the risk of disease is constant. In the balance of survival, 
black and white stripes may be one of the most powerful defenses nature ever painted. But beyond their survival, there is something undeniably mesmerizing about zebras. Picture a herd moving together across the open plains. Hundreds of black and white bodies flowing like a single living current. Their stripes rippling in the heat like waves of light and shadow. For a moment, the savanna feels less like a landscape of predators and prey, and more like a vast moving artwork painted by evolution's hand. The pattern that once puzzled explorers and scientists is no longer just a question of color. It is a symbol of how life finds extraordinary solutions to ordinary problems, turning even the threat of biting flies into a reason for beauty. The zebra reminds us that survival and elegance are not opposites, but companions woven together in every stripe. And perhaps that is why zebras continue to captivate us. They are not just animals grazing on the savanna. They are emblems of nature's imagination, proof that even in the harshest environments, life does not settle for the ordinary. Instead, it creates something bold, something unforgettable. So next time you see a zebra, whether in the wild or behind the glass of a zoo, pause for a moment. Look closely at the stripes and know that within them lies both a shield against danger and a masterpiece of design. In those lines of black and white, nature whispers its lesson. Survival can be beautiful. If zebras can surprise us this much, imagine what else nature is hiding. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss the next stories.